this video it's my goal to go ahead and share with you guys how to use an MRE if you're in a combat patrol loadout like I am right here. This is a winter loadout, got my PTR-91, and I've got about over 250 rounds of ammunition on me, and this is basically a combat loadout if you're going to go on like a combat patrol and or reconnaissance, whatever. So basically you'd probably have a chow on you. And if this is going to be for morning to afternoon, then you're probably going to want to have chow uh, ready and available. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and break that down. Now, right now, I just have it in my butt pack, and that's a no-go. It's a whole MRE. It hasn't been field stripped, but I'm going to show you how I would field strip it if I was going to be put on one of these patrols based on my experience having done this several times. So... Let me go ahead and uh, pull this out of my butt pack and show you how it's done. All right, so I'll go ahead and open this thing up. Now, typically in the butt pack, it's going to be items that you're probably not going to need right away, given that this is winter time. You know, snow if it falls. This kind of jacket, this uh, smock that I have, I have a review on it. And so, go ahead and look for this Helicon PCS smock. But, anyways, in here. I have like my extra ammunition and I have four extra magazines in here. I have a poncho, an OD green poncho, and have some Kim lights for marking some 550 cord if I needed to use my poncho for a shelter if uh, if the need arose or whatever if I needed to make something out of it, you know, whatever. So I've got that. So now I can go ahead and close this up. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and open this up. I don't want to have to cut this open if I don't have to, and this one opened up really easily, so we're going to take a look at what's inside this. I am keeping this around. This is a good trash bag. This is a good way to contain all the stuff that I'm not going to put on my person. Yes, that's what's going to be involved, is putting stuff on my person. Pretzels, and that's going to be a pretty easy snack for on the move. Multigrain snack bread. So it's like wheat snack bread, multigrain version, so interesting. And then I've got my accessory pack. There really is not much I can use here, so this whole thing is pretty much garbage. So we're gonna throw that nut raisin mix. I would say that's probably gonna be a little easier than pretzels, and it's probably not gonna be as loud, but we'll keep it around. Um, spoon, yeah, I guess we will need a spoon. Um, peanut butter and apple jelly, pretty good. And uh, we're not gonna have any time to make up this Cocoa beverage powder or anything, so pretty much useless. Flaming ration heater, useless. And then, of course, we got the beef stew. Um, I would keep it in reserve. <clears throat> now, do we need a spoon? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Um, I'll, I'll just throw the spoon. It's not really necessary overall. So, anyways, calorically, 300 uh, calories in the beef stew got 110 calories in the pretzels, 70 calories in the apple jelly, and 250 in the peanut butter, and 310 in the nut raisin mix, and 150 in the bread. So, basically comes out to about this many calories. So, if you're going to be patrolling a lot, if you were to even take contact, that's really not that many calories overall. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not really all that great. Now, the main meals, do we, you actually need it? No, I just like to have something in reserve. So, as far as stuff that I'm actually going to put on my person, I love wheat snack bread. That'll probably be the first thing to go. I'm probably going to want something sweet, so apple jelly, peanut butter, kind of thick, kind of makes a mess or whatever, but I'll keep it on my person but it's not going to be a high priority. I'd rather go through this. This will go faster, even though it's less calories. It'll be a lot easier to take down. <clears throat> Pretzels, I'm going to stow that elsewhere. Nut raisin mix, um, I'm going to have to stow that elsewhere. Once you open it up, it's not like you can grab the whole thing and then just work on it or break it into pieces or whatever. It's basically, it can leave tracks, trace your position, you know, whatever you want to call it. So security. It's also a big thing. You don't want to be leaving a, a, a garage sale behind you uh, in food or gear, right? So, anyways, let's go ahead and 
I start uh, packing this up. And the goal, if you can, is go ahead and have it sideways, take up less room. And one way to do that is get your entree moved down. Okay, and there we go. We got our chow nice and folded up, and it's relatively water resistant. It's not really going to help it in the temperature all that much, but you know, when we need it, we'll have it. So, go ahead and shove this in here. And we got our little lunch baggie and a trash baggie. So, Unfortunately, we don't have a beverage bag or anything to help us uh, for the trash that we'll have on our person. We're just going to have pockets for that. So, now we'll go ahead and move on to where we put this stuff. First thing to note with these three items is uh, I want to have it on my support side. So, basically, I have my rifle available. And this might seem counterintuitive because some of this requires, you know, well, may require two hands to open or whatever. But, you know, realistically, if you're gonna, as you're reaching for it, you want to spend more time on your gun than not on your gun, right? So, anyways, with all that said, for this, being that it's winter, you can do a lot of cross, you know, pulling stuff out across your body. So, both these little packets are going to go across the way. They're going to be really easy to pull out. And this one, obviously, I can just shove into here. Now, this is going to do a couple things. It's going to keep the food warm, and it's going to keep it readily available. And there's really not much, since it's tight against my body, there's really not much of any crackling or movement or anything like that. And here's the thing. You're not really getting that many calories on the move. you got like 500 calories on your person, and then, of course, in your butt pack, you have the extra, you know, you know, uh, 800 calories or whatever that you have if you actually had the time to eat it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for storing an MRE on your person. Now, if you look at something like the first strike rations, FSRs, then you'll see that they don't have ration heaters. They don't really have any main meals or anything. It's pretty much all snack food. Now, when you compare that to three MREs a day, you are getting less calories. However, that was that first strike ration is basically designed to be eaten on the move. So it's basically designed because they were looking at people's techniques for using MREs on the move. And that's the way I've always done it, is I always had food readily available for when I was on patrol. Or when we had a lull or if we were in a firefight, we were in a compound and I had five minutes, I'd have chewing gum or, or whatever, like the caffeine gum you get with the uh, first strike rations or whatever. I'd have it somewhere on my person, something I can enjoy in the middle of crap, right? So, you know, depending on your collection of, you know, MREs or whatever, it'd be good to have food readily available on your person because sometimes you just need a little pick-me-up, right? And the rest of the time, if you're going to be out all day, then obviously you'd probably have more food to store on your person or maybe you'll have a backpack or you can put it inside a a part of your backpack that's going to be readily available but you don't need to keep the whole thing and the entire thing all closed up with you you can field strip it you can keep the outer container as a water resistant or waterproof layer if you wish um, but it doesn't need to be that complicated but realize that when you're field stripping weight and space are everything you don't need to take unnecessary crap with you don't need your ration heater you don't need your spoon really really you don't need your spoon and you know if you can get away with it bring more food you know to kind of make up the calories because you you can drain calories really fast carrying around all this crap I'm pro I probably weigh over 200 pounds right now so you know with all that said you know be mindful of how you're storing your food and be logical with you know, having your food ready to be used while you're on the move. So, with all that said, I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and leave a comment below on uh, any technique you might have. But, anyways, uh, you guys have a good one.